If you're still duplicating Canva pages one by one to make digital stickers, then I have been there and it is painfully slow. But what if I told you that you could create 100, even 200, several hundreds of digital stickers in less than 10 minutes flat without having to manually design each one? We're going to let AI and Canva do the heavy lifting for us. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I create digital stickers using ChatGPT for the ideas and Canva's bulk create feature for the actual designs. Honestly, once I figured this out, it completely changed the way I create digital products for Etsy, for my own website and everywhere else that I sell online. Because suddenly you can go from one design to a whole collection of endless designs without losing an entire week, an entire day to copy and paste madness. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Roxy, and I help digital product creators to design smarter, sell faster, and stand out online. Okay, let's jump in because I am so excited to show you this workflow. It's one of those things where once you see it, you'll never go back to the old way of doing things. So let's jump in now. All right, so let's talk workflow. Here's the thing. Coming up with 100 or 200 sticker ideas from scratch can feel impossible. But this is where ChatGPT comes in clutch. So let's say we are creating 100 stickers that are aimed at busy mums who just need a motivational pick-me-up throughout the day. So we are in ChatGPT and I'm just going to paste this prompt. Um, I'll leave this prompt down in the description as well, but it's basically give me 200 motivational quotes aimed at busy mums. Arrange them into four column table format with quotes 1 to 50 in column 1, 51 to 100 in another column, quotes 1 a 01 to 150 in another column and quotes 151 to 200 in a, another column. And then we're just going to click go and that will start to hopefully create those for us. So as we can see now, we've got the four columns and it is creating our 200 quotes just like that. So whilst we are waiting for that to do, we're going to come over to Canva. We've got create a new design. We're going to click custom size and then we want it to be pixel units and then 1000 by 1000 width and height. Then we're going to create a new design. So this is going to be our framework for our digital stickers. Now what we want to do is create space for where those quotes are going to go. So I'm going to click T for text and then I'm just going to make that a bit bigger. And then I'm actually going to come back over and choose one of these quotes that are quite long because then it just helps with the spacing. I'm just going to take this one and then I'm going to paste that there and then make sure it's positioned in the center and in the middle. I'm actually going to reduce that line spacing a little bit too. So now we're just going to design the general look and feel of this particular um, digital sticker. So we're going to go over to design. We're going to go to styles and then we're just going to choose from one of the kind of pre-made styles of color pack paired up with font styles that Canva gives us access to. So I quite like this color palette. Um, we are in full and this is I quite like that kind of full vibe of this. So I'm going to click this one. And then what it does is it immediately applies that color palette and that different font style to this design. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this page and I'm going to duplicate it again and then again so that we've got our four designs. So now for this second design, I'm just going to click this combination again and then it's going to change that kind of color scheme there so that it looks slightly different. And then we're going to do the same again. And now we've got a different combination. And then we're going to do it again. And then we've got those. So now we've got our four different kind of um, sticker styles here. The one other thing that we might want to do to just make it pop a bit is maybe put a frame around here or some kind of elements there. So it's full at the moment. So I'm going to go to elements and then I'm going to click full and I'm going to go to graphics. I'm going to make sure that they are free. And then I think some nice leaves, nothing too much, a nice leaf there and then maybe that's quite nice. And then moving on to this one, let's see what else we could put. Maybe a pumpkin would be quite nice. Or oh, this flower is actually really nice. So I'm going to just put that in the corner there, that over there. So it's just something nice and simple. And then maybe apple there in the corner would be quite nice with maybe a lovely. And then for this one, maybe some berries there. So if we're now looking to put these, we've just added some you know, just a little bit of an element there to just give it a bit more interest. So moving back over to ChatGPT, we've got our four columns that are encompassing our 200 quotes. And now I'm just going to click copy table. I'm going to come over to Google Spreadsheet, just create a new one, which I've done now. And I'm just going to paste these here. So now it's arranged them in those four columns. 
nice and quickly. And I'm just going to remove this top row here. And now this is where the magic happens. So I'm going to click this quote here. I'm going to go over to the left hand side and there is a button here that says bulk create. And now we're going to click upload manually. And so from here, I'm just going to copy this column, paste it there. I'm going to go back and copy this column, paste it here. And then I'm going to add text and then add text again, and then go and bring in those other columns too. And then paste this here and then copy this column and paste it here. So now we've got all four of our columns of quotes pasted in there. Now we're going to click done. And now we are going to connect these quotes on each of these stickers to these um, data fields here. You could name each column, but I know which ones are connected to which, so that's fine. So I click this quote, click connect data, and then I'm going to connect it to this column, this different set of quotes here. Then I'm going to move on to this one. Again, click that quote, click connect data, and we're going to connect it to email. Then click this sticker design, click this quote, click connect data, and then connect it to this one. And then just do the same again, really simply. We didn't even have to name those fields. I knew which ones, and I'm sure you would as well. Now we are ready for the magic. So now we click advanced options. So we've clicked one design with multiple pages, and now we're going to click continue, and then we're going to go to generate and it should work. It's magic now. So now we're going to view design and now it has created all of our stickers just like that. So now that we have created those, we would click download. We would download them as a PNG and then we would open that up to stickers. So we've renamed it and we actually then want to compress that into a zip folder. And once that's all zipped, then we would come over to Google Drive. So now that these are uploaded to this Google Drive file, this is what you're going to be sharing with your customer. So in order to be able to do that, you are going to want to click here and then go to share. And then we're going to click that share button. And then where it says restricted, we want to be able to have anyone with the link be able to access this folder. So now we've done that. We're going to just copy that link, click done, and then we are going to use, this is a pre-made download document, which I will give you free access to. Um, just ask for it in the comments and I'll send you a link to this, but this is going to help you to then provide that link to your end customer. So here, this is a placeholder text. Um, we are going to say, download your digital stickers here. Just make that background a bit bigger. And then here, we're going to click this button here and then paste that link that we took from our Google Drive folder. So now that is all connected up. So now what you do is you then click the share button, download this and make sure it is a PDF standard download because that means that when they open this PDF up, this button here is clickable. And then all you would do is you would upload this document into the back end of your Etsy account. So as we can see, you would click there. And then that takes you right to this zip file here. And then they would just double click, download it, and then use those stickers as they are. And that's it. You've seen how easy it is to go from one sticker idea to a full collection without spending hours duplicating pages. Seriously, once you try Bulk Create, you'll never look at Canva and creating digital product in the same way again. Let me know if you want some other use cases for Canva Bulk. I love using it. Um, and I would love to show you any other designs you may be thinking um, you might be able to create. That's it for today. I hope you got a lot of value and until next time, all the very best.